The main idea of the book, The One Thing, is the focusing question. What is the thing I have to do now so that everything else will be easier or unnecessary? To explain you this concept, I will use one of my clients' user case that I consulted in the recent years. But of course, this concept can be applied to any different situation. Instead of diving into various tasks, such as creating and promoting your agency website, you start by addressing the focusing question. Upon reflection and research, you pinpoint the unique selling proposition, USP, as your agency's key to success. After assessing your own strengths, your rivals and your different target groups, you pinpoint an emerging market for promoting personal trainers. You see that personal trainers are struggling to attract clients even with increasing interest in their services. Focusing on this demographic enables you to improve your tactics and processes, offering exceptional value at a competitive rate. Your unique selling proposition is now evident. You provide a tailor-made marketing services for personal trainers at a budget-friendly price. Your USP is for now just a concept, since you don't have any clients to prove its effectiveness. There is no guarantee it will work as intended. But embracing risks is a part of the entrepreneurial journey. You have a defined roadmap for the upcoming months. In time, you will have the opportunity to reflect and adjust your strategy. That is much better than just trying a little of everything. Answering the focusing question will bring you much clearer insight into your priorities. You'll have a solid grasp on identifying your target audience and the strategies are for engaging them. This might initiate a domino effect, allowing you actions to progressively build on one another. With every new client, the quality of your service improves. You become increasingly knowledgeable about the personal trainer market, understanding their clients' needs and concerns intimately. Your clients start referring you to their peers and your reputation among personal trainers steadily rises. You begin assembling a team capable of scaling your agency. With a customer base that has similar needs, the number of unique challenges that require your personal attention is minimized. This allows you to dedicate time to the next steps in your business. For example, you could develop a platform where consumers can easily select a personal trainer that suits their preferences. By launching this platform, you could strengthen your industry foothold and boost your passive income. By moving one step on top of another, you can reach goals that appear out of reach initially. The key is to progress gradually, focusing on the right direction. Now, imagine you overlook the focusing question, choosing to pursue any client. You invest countless hours in improving your website, branding, and marketing efforts. You interact with many different individuals and participate in a range of communities. You are in a tight race with numerous similar competitors. You find yourself fighting for every client, sometimes accepting them out of sheer necessity. Due to your client's diversity, you often find yourself doing things for the first time, even after serving dozens or hundreds of clients. Despite putting in so much effort, you still feel like you are not advancing enough. The right answer to the focusing question varies with your situation. For instance, an online store owner may see the need to boost audience engagement. 
choosing to focus entirely on YouTube instead of pricing SEO or design. Meanwhile, an IT outsourcing company could opt for specializing in AI solutions for small startups, while an offline brand might find forming an online partnership essential. If you have some trouble to come up with the answer for the focusing question, I can help you with some inspiration. Just share your website in the comments below and I will give you some ideas.